Well, we now turn to faith and politics, part of our ongoing series. Since 2021, Representative Stephanie Bice has served Oklahoma's 5th Congressional District. She actually said no to running in the first place. But when she sat down with Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales, she told him how God had other plans. I am so incredibly honored that my constituents have put me in this position, um, and I do not take that lightly. Um, but sometimes you say, no, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in the place I'm supposed to be, and I think God has a different plan for you. And I do think this is part of my plan. Running a small business back home in Oklahoma, raising her two daughters with her husband, Jeff, Stephanie Bice was living the American dream. She was asked to run for Oklahoma State Senate. She won and served six years. Then she was approached to run for U.S. Congress. She was part of a wave of conservative women elected over the past two cycles. Not every woman believes that, you know, you should be able to terminate the pregnancies up to you know, birth. And so you had a groundswell of women um, consider running for congressional seats and Senate seats in the 2020 and now in the 2022 election cycle. Today, Congress has the largest number of Republican pro-life women in its history. Congresswoman Bice wasn't always Catholic. She converted in college after she met her husband and they started going to mass together, a faith that she's now passed on to her college age daughters. My youngest daughter was so excited to tell me that not only did she go to Ash Wednesday service, but she brought four of her uh, sorority uh, friends with her to, to mass. And so I was pretty excited uh, when you get that call from the college kid that they're still engaged. Uh, that's a pretty, uh, that puts a pretty big smile on your face as a parent. While serving on Capitol Hill, being away from family is difficult, but she refocuses her mind and soul by turning to the Blessed Mother. I stumbled across a group of staffers that actually pray the rosary on fly-in days in the morning. And I said, hey, can a member come? And they were delighted that I would even ask. And so I've done that. Uh, One highlight of her congressional career, meeting Pope Francis at the Vatican. The invitation came from Representative James Langevin, a fellow Catholic and Democrat from Rhode Island. She says Pope Francis told her. He looked at my husband and I after uh, blessing us both. And he said, will you pray for me? And that was pretty profound. Congresswoman Bice says she's committed to protecting American families and is currently working on legislation to give parents more paid family leave. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.